Welcome back, I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be playing some Mardu Lumbering Battlement Mirror March. So, Lumbering Battlement is a card we've played a lot on the channel. It's one of my favorite cards from the most recent set. Uh, so what it is, it's a 5 mana for 5 Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, you can exile any number of non other non-token creatures uh, until Lumbering Battlement leaves the battlefield. And then it gets plus 2-2 two, two for each creature you exile. So basically what you're going to do is play a bunch of creatures with relevant enter the battlefield effects. You're going to exile them with Lumbering Battlement. And then when Lumbering Battlement leaves the battlefield, you get all those triggers again. Uh, so some of our other decks we played uh, do have some sort of blink effects where you can exile and return to the battlefield to reuse. Um, we're opting not to play that in this game. We still have the thud where you can make a really big lumbering battlement and basically throw it at the opponent. Um, instead, we're playing Mirror March. So Mirror March is another card that we can take advantage of all our enter the battlefield effects. It's less reliable, but it leads to much more ridiculous fun games. Uh, so whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, flip a coin until you lose a flip. For each flip you won, you create a token. It gains haste. So you can just keep making tokens effectively, exiling battlements, getting more battlements back, and just have a really funny gameplay of just a lot of enter the battlefield effects. So what are we trying to use for enter the battlefield effects? So we have Bugler Rat to make opponents discard cards. We have Dusk Zegion Zealot to draw us cards. Uh, Rick's Mahdi Reveler to draw us cards. Wily Goblin to create treasures to ramp us up. We have Militia Bugler to draw us into more creature cards. Uh, pretty much all of our deck other than chain, well about half of our deck probably in this case can be picked up by Militia Bugler. We have Sky March Blood Letter which gains us life and drains the opponent. Chain Whirler to wipe our opponent's board effectively and uh, can ping them for one damage. We have Chupacabra to kill some creatures. Fell Haunt to make our opponent discard and gain us some life. Uh, Vampire Sovereign to basically just be a bigger version of the Sky March, drain for three, gain three, and uh, two Siege Gangs to make a bunch of tokens and that we could uh, use for pseudo removal. Um, so we'll play this out, run it through a couple games, see how it goes, and then see if we want to have add the Blink package in. So as we get started, if you haven't done so already, just a friendly reminder, subscribing, the little button on the bottom right hand corner, is a free and easy way to show your support to the stream. Uh, we hit 100 subs about a week ago, so we are doing a giveaway right now uh, for all existing subs and new subs as well. Uh, so make sure if you aren't doing with a Gmail to just drop a comment with your name so you can be entered. We're giving away a Watery Grave foil from Gatecrash. So it's a really sweet card there. Uh, so it's a little bit slower of a hand, but we could Rick's Mahdi or lands do. We need an untapped land, but we'll try it out. Opponent does mulligan. So ideally here, if we can get an untapped land. Oh. Not the untapped land, but land nonetheless. Probably get rid of the Bell Haunt off Rick's Mahdi. I think I want the Thud for the Lumbering Battlement. Chupacabra could be relevant here. Not sure what the opponent's necessarily on right now. Doesn't look like uh, defenders, like uh, Bant defenders with Arcades. Mana base. Oh, could be. So Sacred Foundry is good here. Uh, so let's Rick's Mahdi first, see what we draw. Uh, let's get rid of the Thud. Siege Gang's not bad there. So next turn we can Bell Haunt. And then either Chupacabra or Siege Gang where need be. Okay, so opponent is on Arcades, just looks like budget mana base, or at least a high alert build. Uh, 
Uh, just in case they have any sort of weird pump effects, I want to keep Rick's Mahdi in hand, or on the field. Opponent chemisters in sight, refills their hand, so they got rid of an Anticipate off the Bell Haunt. Okay, so they have the Arcades, so we'll Chupacabra. We will have to take uh, some damage here if they decide to attack with the Wall of Mist. It's fine because we gain three off that turn. Waiting on the opponent. Okay. So here I want to get rid of the Arcades. Serves as the most dangerous of the bunch. I'll just hold back in case they have another one. Okay. That was not what was expected. So, opponent could hit us in again for 11. They actually have a lethal here. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so we gotta play this out because opponent has lethal. Just hope we draw into something else. This Tetsuku was really good. Opponent gives us the GG. Uh, they still have us. 9, 14. Yep, they got us. Well, high alert out of nowhere. Should have kept the thud. Killing Arcades is right, really is just the missing removal piece. Let's see uh, what we go up against next. So this hand's pretty solid. We can zell it. Probably bugler rat first to try to get our opponent off curve. This looks like black white life gain of some sort. Have the opponent make a decision here. Cleansing Nova, so maybe black white control. This might be the Smothering Tides version. Okay, Absan. Play out Dusk Legion here. Let's play the Blood Crypt Tap, past turn. Let's see if opponent wants to kill this. It's not really presenting much of a clock. So rat here isn't too bad. So let's attack in first, see what they do. Opponent gets rid of Akaya's Wrath. Here I'm okay just discarding a land to cycle. Land in for a land. So here we want a battlement, ideally, something to cover up our creatures, even if they wrath. So they have Vraska's Contempt. Not the worst. 
Ooh, mirror march. So here I'm just gonna hold off. I wanna try to have creatures for the mirror march turn. I'll play out another fountain of renewal. So really just hoping they don't have mortify here. Come on opponent, don't have mortify. One time, one time. Play out some chain whirlers. Sweet. All right, let's see how many we get. All right, so two more chain whirlers. It's pretty nice damage there. So here, any further lines we draw, we probably won't play in case we get Rick's Mahdi. We have three more in the deck, so we're really just looking for some card draw, Lumbering Battlement, or even Militia Bugler. Just refill the hand. It's not what we wanted, but... Just want to keep putting pressure on our opponent. Uh, so nothing there. Just pass the turn. So they mortify our fun. But a turn too late. Gonna hold off on the battlement here. I wanna try to get some more value out of it. Bonus not really showing a win condition yet. These fountains certainly have kept them at a reasonable life total. Next turn, I think we'll play out the battlement. That way, even if they wrath, we still have four power on board. Gaia's Blessing. We have the Wrath. Siege Gang's good there, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So not quite enough to do both. Here I'm just okay playing out the Lumbering Battlement. We can always follow up. So next turn we could potentially Lumbering Battlement and Thud for the win. If they don't kill it. Okay, so they've Raskus Contempt. It's fine. We still have four power. It's a good thing we didn't Siege Gang last, that past turn. So opponents in talk deck mode. Serial absolutions rough. This basically invalidates a lot of what's in our hand right now. OK, 
Okay, Vampire Sovereign can at least do some stuff. So opponents got quite a bit they can target with the absolution. Odd card draw, but sure. Attacking with both. See how they block here. Just kill it. It's really the only way we're doing anything in this match. It's, it's tokens die, but we can shoot something if we need to. This deck's oddly good against us. Main board absolution after us drawing siege gang into siege gang. So here we're just going to take this out and it prevents them from gaining life. This also stops them from double blocking our vampire sovereign. They could create one token. Drawing nothing but lands also doesn't help. Okay, so we're just going to call it quits. They'll double block here. Oh, connection lost. Connection lost, game lost. Well, even Arena didn't want us to play the rest of that game. So I think we might need to make a couple changes to the deck. Might have just been the matchup that was a little awkward for us. We'll play a couple more, get a better idea where we stand. Uh, so this is good. We could Wily Goblin to try to ramp us out faster. Sky March can offset some life loss against aggressive decks. But if we draw land, we're effectively turn... Turn for Siege Gang. Gala Shrine could be a couple different things here. Most likely is indicative of Esper. Uh, so here... Let's just draw a card. I want to hit the land drop for the turn. So that's fine for us. So here, a militia bugler, get a dusk legion, play out the dusk legion, draw a card, try to find a land. Mirror March is also interesting here. P 
opponent might be on like black white angels, black white knights, black white mid range. Probably already seen more planes than we would in an Esper deck, even if they're missing lands. Hopefully draw a land next turn. Play out the Siege Gang. Chaining the Benalias is good for our opponent. Okay, sweet. So Siege Gang just gives us blockers for next turn. No attacks here. Hopefully draw one more land. Play out the Mirror March and then go from there. Makes sense for the opponent to attack, but we'll see what they decide to do. I'm just going to throw the Goblins in front. With them going wide right now, I don't really want to just play out a Bombardment because they can attack around it. Opponent's deciding what they're up to. Ixalan's Binding. A little awkward. Don't get that future value. Just block like that. So here we have two draws effectively. Second mirror march. Don't need that. Really wanted to land there. Opponent's gonna smash us for a bunch here. Just need to hold off, really. It's fine. Without trample, doesn't do much. I'll just block like this. So we're going for the fun play, not the smart play. So they have 12 damage on board. We need to chump with the Legion here. Yeah, all that for nothing. I'll just block like this. Cobra is good for next turn. They have five attackers. They can pump, th push through three damage. We need to block with everything. They have a removal spell. We're dead. Just some awkward hands. Turns out Mirror March is overpriced and uh, a little bit too much of a fun of probably. Uh, let's just block like that. Really don't think we have much left. Opponent's got it. Just some really awkward hands. Alright, back to the drawing board. What can we change about this deck? Go down a mirror march.
probably go up some, go down one of you. Uh, I don't like this view. Go up a chupacabra. Go. Let's see. There's the uh, the three mana gain some life creature. Uh, where are you? Flight inspiring cleric just to gain us some life. Try that out. See if that gets us any better. Opponents just won't let us have mere march fun. Just guy version might be a little bit better, just with deputy of detention amongst other ver. Keep that. Just lots of card draw, good for us. Opponents on so maybe goblins. Cavalcade. This is a man of culture. We are probably dead. Uh, just play out Rick's Mahdi. We're done. We're gonna have to block the banneret here. Okay, so here. Here we're just gonna get rid of the Blood Crypt. Vampire Sovereign's actually pretty good. She should not have gotten rid of the Blood Crypt. We need our fifth land. Next turn we can double Zealot. They can mentor up the Banneret to mentor up one of the Goblins. Makes our blocks a little awkward. gonna kill that. Okay, so play out the zealot. Uh, so we'll play out the bugler rat here. Try to get some cards out of our opponent's hand. It's getting rid of the siege gang is very good for us. We're gonna throw the zealot in front of the banneret. Probably throw the rat in front if they attack with the volley veteran. Here we just want to soak up as much damage as possible. Dead to goblins. There are four attackers. We dead. That was the turn we needed Chain Whirler. Run it back for one more. Really was hoping for more out of this deck. Lumber Bombardment's one of my favorite cards.
you've stuck around this far, definitely check out the Jeskai version. We were able to do a lot better with it. Try it out. This one's a little bit weaker to aggro, but give it a shot. Opponents deciding. If we can get to Mirror March, then we're in a good spot. Opponent could be on a couple different things here. Merfolk could just be on mono green, could be on gruel. Usually shows uh, merfolk. Yeah. Here we want. So the thing is. Siege Gang's the best, but Dusk Legion draws us some cards, so we'll just go to Dusk Legion for next turn. We want to hit our sixth land to start playing some Mirror March. So they're going to start being able to pump up a really big unblockable here. Want to try to find a Chupacabra. So that'll be three power normally and it gets pumped up more. Hey. Ask and you will be rewarded. Thank you. Here I'm going to offer the trade. I'll happily kill the Deep Root Elite. Otherwise it's a free attack. Next turn we'll play a Vampire Sovereign. We want to keep the Bombardment for when we have Mirror March. Silvergill, let's see what they pump up. Might just do Kamena here. Fine with taking the three points if they attack in. I'll have another Kamena speaker. Let's see if they diversify their tokens. No, yeah, makes sense. Make a lot of threatening attackers. Sweet. Second bombardment means we can start, if, even if we don't draw land, exiling them over each other. Next turn we probably bombardment, or battlement, keep calling it bombardment. Goblin bombardment's definitely a card we'd want to see. Opponent's going wide here. Even a chain whirler would be pretty good on this board right now. Just get rid of the deep root. See how they attack in, if anything. Ooh. Mirror March. Mirror March gives us the most upside. Bombardment's probably safer. Or Battlement. So we're going to attack in for one. Let's 
So opponent can get some attacks in this time. But we can blink our battlemen after attacking with it. And then hopefully draw, draw a bunch of cards off uh, Dusk Legion. Militia Bugler should also help us draw. Okay, so they have sleep. Two, four. A lot of damage. Ten, fourteen. So I was hoping to get an attack in with the battle mate. Uh, so deep root provides the most. It's the most dangerous, I think. Ah, missing there hurts. Okay. So we have blockers now. Play out the mirror march. Next turn. Or they just have double sleep. Jeez. Well, we've played some tough games. Can't really beat an opponent when they hit sleep into sleep. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy. If you have any suggestions on how to tune the deck, definitely let me know. And uh, have a great one.